And this is a oh yes, very happy apex after that one, mate. Wait, let me just start with this. You're down seven one, and you get thirteen rounds in a row. You, you made it look easy once you started to woke up into it all. Well, I think our last nuke were like that as well, uh, like losing straight from the beginning and understood what they were doing and playing better. I think we want to show as well that our nuke can be strong because it's a map that we didn't play that much, but we've been practicing a lot. Okay. So yeah, it's important for us to show up on this map because. Yeah, we've been struggling with this team for quite some time and we just want to yeah, to be good on it. Now, I want to touch on one thing. We were talking about it. Spinks individually, at least in this game, look like a monster. Is there something that changed in this bit of time you've had off? Of course. I mean, I've been talking about that in the interview uh, with you, actually. Uh, <coughs> he hasn't played I mean, yet. That's why I mentioned it. So we yeah, can, we of course, can of give course, me the juice again. No, I, just, I, I like to repeat. It's it's my job, kind of. <laughs> now, to be, to, to be honest, um, yeah, you know, we've been playing... Uh, three months straight CS uh, since we had Lotan and we didn't have time to, to, to think too much about him and in like integrate him well into the team, sorry. <coughs> so now after the major we had 10 days off and we could think like reflect about what went wrong with him and what we could do better. Um, I think he wanted to help the team too much and his luck were like not efficient enough and okay. I, I know that we had a bit talk together on all maps, almost, almost like in the T side, um, just saying that okay, he needs to, he is a lurker anyway, he needs to think about himself and also he played a really different playstyle with Ens, like Ens are like yeah. really crazy playstyle running everywhere and he had a lot of space now, we play more basic CS, slow CS, so of course for him it's way harder, so it's something that we've been like talking together and been trying to work on it and yeah, it's one game, it's one bet of three, but yeah, he showed up and it feels really good to have him like at this level because if he is at this level often with Daiwu and Magis as well being uh, like a second part of the really, really well and sometimes Dupree and me can step up as well, we can like, uh, we can get titles. You said it yourself, right? You've been struggling for, for quite some time and you had this long break after the media as well. Would you almost say that was a blessing in disguise that you now finally have time to, to rework <laughs> Vitality? Yes, of course, of course, for many reasons. Just. I think that it's important to know that even though you have three days off, it's not enough to, to reflect enough on yourself and sure. what, what went wrong and what is wrong. That's why it's really rare that we see teams not playing good, that playing straight well uh, in, in, in the next event. He said, he, he, uh, except if they have a stand-in, obviously, because it's uh, <laughs> CS ways. But so, um, yeah, now I had time to, to reflect. Uh, also, um, Zonic had time to reflect about ourselves and we came to good conclusion I would say and yeah also for me as a as a as individual I think that since Lota and joined it uh, I think I wanted to give too much for everyone not thinking enough sure. about me and not thinking about of course I'm not star player but I need also to do my numbers because yeah. otherwise it's it can be really really tough and for example today uh, it was tough because they didn't come romp runs <laughs> but on side I stepped up and it just feels good because yeah I'm just it's tough as in game leader to just think about yourself when you never done it because I used to be like an interior fragger and al always thinking mm. about the team. No, sometimes I have to take a step back and uh, it's not easy, but I'm working on it for the last three weeks and it wasn't exceptional today, but it was enough. How hard has that been for you? Because I was very surprised when I saw your roles change, you know, from, as you said, you're always the, the aggressive guy, always running around, always trying to create chaos and create space for your teammates. Now you're stuck on ramp, you have some more static positions. How is it for you as a player? It, it kind of goes against your nature, I feel. Of course, but it's how it, it's how it is. You know, you need to evaluate in, in, in the way you play. I think uh, it's the same in, in the sport as well, when you get older and the young guys are coming up. Sure. So I just think that it was a normal step for me. Uh, it wasn't easy because it takes time to, to play new positions, most likely position I never played in my entire life. So yeah, but it's fun. I mean, it's, it's new challenges and I love it. It's just part of, of our job and uh, I, love, I love the challenge. So it's just, yeah, getting better and better. I want to ask you one final thing as well when it comes to the Inferno that was The final walk-up you want to spoke or no? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, mate, we've already suffered enough with that. They won, by the way. And yeah, you, you seem to be doing pretty well and making it to the final there as well for the French side. But I want to touch on MPL. Did you know that was coming? Did you know they were practicing with them on Inferno? Or was this more of a surprise? <laughs> we had no idea what map they were playing with. <laughs> Actually, I thought that they would play um, with Sunday Young on Inferno. Okay. But the last time we played against them, it destroyed us on pits, okay. like for real. I don't know about the other games because I haven't watched too much mm. at the individual, but I remember it was like 18-3 at some point against us in EPL or something like that. So I didn't expect them to, 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 to roll back uh, uh, him. But yeah, I mean, for Nipple as well, he's a really young player. It's tough for him to enter in, uh, in such a condition. I think that was a bit easier for Bit to enter because they were still like really high. 
right yeah, now they're in bit yeah. of a doubt uh, themselves. So I think it's harder for him to, to join the team. But yeah, I mean, it's not in one tournament or in one game that we're going to see the potential. We had bit like going like really crazy instantly, but <laughs> yeah. like it can't happen all the time. One final one, Mbappe or Messi? <laughs> okay, so that's a huge problem for me right now. I think all <laughs> French will hate me, but I'm a huge fan of Messi for 15 years. And for me, it's the greatest of all time without a doubt. But with that, everyone will shut up. Most likely the Ronaldo fan. <laughs> up. And uh, so, yeah, it's really tough for me, but a little advantage on Messi just to get his, his World Cup because we had one four years ago, so we get used to. Okay. Uh -huh, I like it. Dan, thank you very much for your time.